Hello everyone, in this video we will learn the basic of spawning objects in Unity. We will use the instantiate method which is built in method by Unity. At the end of the video we will have something like this. When we press the space key a new cube will be spawned. Ok, let's begin. I have a simple scene setup with a ground plane and a cube object. I will select the cube object and I will add rigid body to it. After that's done, I will drag and drop the cube in our asset folder. This will create a prefab out of it. I will delete the cube in the scene. Up in the hierarchy panel, I will right click and I will create a new empty object. I will rename this object to spawner. I will reset its transform and I will move it up the y axis. Now, this will be the position that we spawn our cube at. Down in the asset folders, I will right click and I will create a new C-Sharp script. I will rename the script to Spawner Script. Double click to open it in Visual Studio. Ok, in Visual Studio first of all, I will delete the start method because I won't be using it. And I will create a new variable, public, game object and I will call it cube prefab. This variable will hold our cube prefab that we just made in the Unity scene. In the update method, I will create an if function to check if the player has pressed the, spe the space bar. So if input dot gate key down key code space, then I will create or instantiate a new game object in our scene. Now, first of all, inside instantiate method, we're gonna give it three parameters. The first will be the object we want to spawn, so cube prefab. The second argument will be the position we want the object to be spawned, so transform that position. Now, this will be the position at the, sp uh, at the spawner object we have just created in the scene earlier. And the third parameter we need to give it is the rotation. We're gonna type quaternion that identity. This basically means that it will have no rotation. Quaternion that identity. If I hover over the instantiate method, we're gonna see that it takes a game object. Second parameter it takes is a vector tree position, and the third parameter it takes is quaternion dot rotation. So quaternion dot rotation is basically no rotation. After I'm done, I will save the C sharp script and go back into Unity. Ok, I will click on the spawner object and I will drag and drop the script we have just made. Inside the cube prefab, I will drag and drop the cube prefab we have just made. Now, if I go into play mode and press on the spacebar, a new cube is spawned. And another one, and another one. I can press space as much times as I want and each time a new cube will be spawned. That's all for this video, in the next video we will learn how to spawn objects at random location in our scene. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.